Hello everyone, welcome back to Simlish 1-1. This is uh, lesson 19. This is part 2 of the film title series that I've got sorted out for you. Uh, we will be looking at the green points uh, of the credits that I've set out uh, in the last lesson. So, during the last lesson we... Um, what did we do last lesson? <laughs> we uh, looked at a title card for um, Simda. We all made a little joke and had fun over that. And also we made a start on the uh, the credits for that same film. I split all the uh, names up into uh, bullet points of colours. Uh, last time we looked at the red points. This week we'll look at the green points. And in the next lesson we'll look at the final ones which are in the yellow points. So without further ado I hope you enjoy the, today's uh, lesson. And I hope something will come out of it for you. But yeah, let's jump into it. Here is the first image. Boosh. Okay, that gives you a few minutes to, well, seconds, <laughs> a few seconds to look at. And suddenly, only three lines, and they are quite uh, fun to look at as well. Uh, so, the only image we'll be looking at today, so I don't want to like, give you too much to absorb in in one lesson. The first line is. Get my trusty pen out, and I think we can fit it all on this board today, so I don't think there'll be many jump cuts. So, the first line and the first letter is L. The next one is an O N D O N London. The next word after that is A N D London and Interesting, eh? Interesting name for a title. I think that name. And then underneath that, underneath that, I guess we can carry on from there. It's got plenty of space right here. <laughs> uh, the word underneath that is F A A F F. Sorry, I can't. I can't do letters. F R A N C E Lee. So France Lee, and then below that is a, a new mysterious word that I'm not 100% familiar with, and it spells like S O U P E R. A T. So what we have here is London and France Lee. Soua sou perat sou perat. Now let's load up uh, Google Translate, see if that might you know what pen here might bring up an idea what it could possibly mean. Let's load it up. Do, do, keep my pen right there so the picture doesn't get blurry for you. Right then, uh, let's detect the language. So, what's the first letter, or first word, shall we say? Su, S O U, and Perat. Perat. So it's telling me it's in Bulgarian. So if we get rid of Perat, it's telling me it's in Greek. So Su is apparently Greek for thy. And bear with me, I've got a, I've got a cold and my nose is tingling like hell. So I'm trying my best not to sneeze on camera, so 
what Google Translate is saying, and don't 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 expect too much from Google Translate, <laughs> really. So what this is saying is, thy, which is telling us it's in Greek. Greek. And then if we uh, type in perat, uh, uh, oh, sorry, that's a, a, a perat. And actually, perat, what Google Translate is telling us, it's Malaysian and it translates as rancid. Okay. <laughs> so, Parat is rancid, and that is telling us it's Malay. Malay. So That's the three <laughs> names on today's title card. London and France Lee Superet or London and France Lee Thy Rancid. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting titles to go abound. But if you believe that means totally so totally something else completely then do comment below. It'll, it'll be amazing to hear from what you think these names could possibly mean. Uh, it's always an open discussion, and it'd be great to know what your theories are as well. But nonetheless, that is what we decoded today, and let's uh, finalise this video off and end it there. I want to thank you all for watching. If you want to keep up to date with my findings, you can follow me on Twitter at RachelSweet underscore BA, or subscribe to my channel or other channels too. Sweet Pea Gaming, Sweet Pea Vlogs, La Vita de Rachel, and Sweet Essence Media. As always, links to them are in the description below. Check, I put everything in my, in my in the description all the time, so it's pretty much advised to check that description. It's there for a reason. <laughs> but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I know I did. It was fun and interesting to uh, decode these name titles. So. Next time, once again, we'll be looking at the yellow, yellow points on the credits and see what they all mean. But until then, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in the very next video. I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye.